overwhelmed, overwhelmed by the presence of God. Hallelujah. I just give God honor and glory and praise for all he has done in our lives. You know what? Sometimes it seems like life is really challenging and it's really difficult at times. The things we walk through are difficult, but the thing of it is is that we're walking through stuff. We're not going to camp out there in the difficulties or the challenges. I just want to give God praise today. I want to thank him for you. And uh, I just had a, a few thoughts on my mind that, for one thing, Christians are unlimited in prosperity, and God blesses those who serve him. Whether it be nations or individual followers of Christ, God prospers us. God prospers those who recognize his power to supply all of their needs. Some Christians who have little opportunity to get, say, good ed educations or, the, or they become mighty in the world of business, they discover the secret of unlimited potential in Jesus. Some people limit themselves and God uh, by un their unbelief. I believe our God can do anything. If, if great things don't happen, don't blame God. Start searching within yourself and asking God what you can do to be unlimited. He wants you unlimited. Don't be selfish in your desire for prosperity and blessing. It's, it's wrong to reach into the unlimited resources of God for selfish purposes. But if you long to help, if you long to love, and if you long to bless others, God will grant you the desires of your heart. You know, God is so into multiplication. As he multiplies things to you and you multiply them out to others, they come back to you. God's people should be like the eagle who stretches his powerful wings and flies into the sky screaming, unlimited, unlimited. Only our, our thoughts, only our own ideas limit us because God is limitless. The great open heavens are God's home and there are no limits to how far he can go. So you know what, we can, we can take our life and we can move with God into areas of unlimited blessings, of anointing, of faith, of, of victory, success, friendship, of prosperity. We've got a whole world that stands before us and we have the key. We need to reach for the unlimited heights for Jesus, for his sake, for the sake of others and for happiness actually within ourselves. I don't know about you, but I'm only happy in victory. I'm not happy in defeat. And when a, when a friend is victorious, I'm happy in his victory. And when another is anointed, I'm happy in his anointing. We are the only ones that can limit ourselves, but don't do it. Get ready for the blessing to flow. Say, Lord, let them flow. Let those blessings flow in, in an unlimited way. And then just release your, your being, your total being to the unlimited God. That's the whole thing right there. We limit ourselves, but you know, there's no limit to God. And experience, we need to experience the true meaning of life in the spirit. Amen. And saying that, I just want to give honor and glory and praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, the lamb who was slain on the cross for the sins of the world, that one who brought us out of darkness into his glorious light and say hallelujah. And God bless you each and every one. Be blessed today, be strengthened, be encouraged, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.